Hello friends, and welcome to episode 12 of Storyteller Plays, Swords and Magic and Stuff. In the last episode, I finally made it to the Windless Woods, and got lost multiple times, started a bunch of quests that I could not finish if I wanted to, and then I had to collect a book for my buddy Ozzy here, who's just been watching me breakdance for like the last 15 minutes because I had to do other things. I'm sure he moved around a bit. Greetings once more! Have you returned to feast your eyes upon more Wizarding Wonders? Here's your book. Ah, perfect timing. I just finished studying this sample. Now let me see here. Hmm, just as I thought. As hard as it is to believe, this sample is from another realm entirely. I'm not sure what it's doing here, but it can't be anything good. Bring this note to Milo. It'll detail my findings for him. Be safe out there, Satu. I won't. In fact, while I'm overpowered here, in the farmlands slash sleeping glade, whatever this place is called, I'm extremely underpowered here for the Windless Woods. Anyway, Milo, yes. All right, let me read what he's got to say. Oh, darn it, I didn't try to do that. Ellipsis. Mm-hmm. Yes, as I thought. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, this is quite disturbing. As much as I'd like to think that I have an answer to this problem, I don't. What's the next step, then? I think we're going to need more help if we want to stop this corruption from spreading. Someone who knows the forest better than me and can help us track down the source of the spreading. Take this letter, the Archdruid. She'll have to help us after she reads this. If not, the woods are doomed. Perhaps all of Tyrwin if we can't get it under control. It, and I'll also give you my arcane shield to help you on your journey, as well as some gold for helping. Be safe, Satu. Oh, and if you want to help, bring, uh, help me with some more research. Come back after you speak to the Archdruid. I could still use some help. Yes, yes, let me check out that shield real quick. Mmm, fancy. I've never used a shield before, though. Seems kind of unintuitive. Like, it takes a whole second to block after I actually push the block button. I suppose it would be too easy to cheese otherwise. Hi! I was just going to break in again, because it's funny. Yep, yep. I have this letter for the Archdruid. Well then, hand it over. Here you go. Oh yeah? And what is this exactly? You mean, the corruption isn't from this realm? I think the Archdruid will want to hear about this. Let me open the gate for you. Yes. Oh, sweet. A mushroom. I imagine folks will be friendlier towards me if I don't break in again. Fecking funny as it is to do so. Hi there, jerks. Excuse me. In saving your lives. I wonder what goes here. Nothing I've currently got. Greetings. I see you've returned. Unfortunately, I am very busy. Well, I've got urgent news. The corruption isn't from this realm. Oh, this is an interesting turn of events. I'll bring this information up with the inner grove and we will decide what to do next. How can I help? We're not invest er, we're not interested in help from outsiders. It is too dangerous allowing someone like yourself in. We can't trust you. These are trying times, and it's not safe in the world with an empty throne. Besides, the people would rather respect me again. Or would never respect me again if I started taking advice from an outsider who knows nothing about our people. Well, how can I learn? I don't have time to teach you the entire history, history of the druids. With the druidic texts lost to time, I'm barely even qualified to teach history lessons these days anyway. The druidic texts? The texts are the transcribed lessons of Sendu, the forest spirit. Sendu once spoke to our people. Why does that name sound familiar? They taught us the ways of the forest and nature magic. Unfortunately, the texts were sealed away in our temple before the we fled back into the forest, lost forever. Unfortunately, child, we are out of time. I must gain the new, or I must get this news to the inner grove so that we can begin planning our next move. Enjoy your adventure, child. You must rest at our inn, or you can rest at our inn and have a meal at the tavern while you are here. But don't expect a warm welcome from everyone else. May Sendu guide you. Yes, uh, I'm just gonna head out. No reason. Ah, oh, they're hostile to me again. They stopped being hostile for no apparent reason last episode. Like, I couldn't talk to them, but they weren't attacking me. Which I did nothing to prompt. Let us see here. Nice, more druidic cores. I wonder what I can place here, though. 
Nope, can't place my magic sigil. Let me go ahead and put that back on. Pretty cool looking shield, though, all things considered. Oh, it's another Fey Iron chest. I don't have a key, though. Don't mind me, I'm friendly. Ooh, a hole in the ground. Ow! This is a pretty bad use of the space, y'all. Okay, so some geography was still popping in. I'm here to collect some kind of texts. Nope, let me just fall back into the hole. I can climb this ladder now that everybody's down here chasing me. Or so I thought. Nope, that door don't work. I'm stuck! Excuse me. Don't mind if I do. Run! Ow. Huh, I can't open that. Probably not where the texts are, then. It would at least be a pretty dick move to put them in there. This would be easier if I wasn't so ridiculously underpowered. Excuse me. Ow. Yay, stuff! Map. Yeah, so they've got to be up here somewhere. Oh? This is promising! Ah, more... Dungeon. That's this. Torn Journal page. Torn Journal page. I've decided to go and join the others in the Ire. I've stayed behind guarding this place long enough. I've shut the Eye of Nature as well. Without a truly orderly magic, it will never be open again. Let's hope it stays that way. Orderly magic. Surely it means chaos. Hello? Oh, that's probably the Eye of Nature. Let's see here. I can equip my chaos staff. This will open it. Nope. Worth a try. Okay, so the texts have got to be in here somewhere. Nice, I collected enough of those druidic cores. Also, I'm extremely lost. Hello, text. Hmm, well this looks even more promising. I'm so weak. Help me. I must grow strong. I require chaos. Oh, I can't take the jar of Mountain Dew. Huh. There's probably a puzzle to be solved here. Well then, I am clearly a genius. I wasn't just randomly pushing buttons at all. Got the texts. Yum, yum, yum. Is there nothing else here I can loot? It wasn't easy getting here, mind you. Oh. Nightshade. Well, 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 what do we have here? An outsider pillaging our ancestors' ruins. The Druun won't stand for this sort of behavior. Hand over whatever you found, or you'll meet your end. Let's talk it out. Oh. Despite giving me the option to talk it out, it's just violence. Okay, whatever. 
That's a pretty slow hammer you've got there. Or maybe it's an axe. Regardless. I attack from a distance, so... You've little hope of winning. Also, that's clearly an axe. Are you sure you don't want to talk it out? You're one hit from death. Oh, sweet. I love robbing the dead. Let's go, Undead Minion. Let's see here. Nope, that didn't do the trick either. Let's try ice. No. Life. Oh, hey, life did the trick. I guess that healing would be the opposite of chaos. It's a good thing I tried that before leaving. Ooh. Druid Acolyte Staff. Mine now. It's pretty. Probably healing, though. Num 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 num. Okay, well. I'm out of here. I'm going to continue to loot the place. But for your viewing enjoyment, I'll just cut to when I'm back at the Druid place. Okay, I lied. Quick detour. Since I'm right here. You get back here, Serpent Dude. Yep, I've returned. Very good. With this, we should be able to awaken the Serpent Shrine. Now we just need to find it. Old texts say it should be on the path to the Druid Ruins. I've circled on your map the rough location. Return to me when you found the shrine. Yes. Uh, is it okay with you if I die in your house? Lovely place you got here. Well, that was easy. Quest updated. I need to talk to Bora again. I just came from over there. Wow, this game likes to send you running around. Good game, though. Lots of fun. What's this? Place under this hollowed shell, nature's most wild magic spell. Clouds above begin to loom, and circle the spell will bloom. Well, I just got this staff. Come on, surely this is what it wants. Place under this hollowed shell, nature's most wild magic spell. Clouds above to begin to loom. Well, that's not what it wants from me, apparently. This would go a lot more smoothly if I had any sense of direction. Yep, found it. Fantastic. Now the shrine can be reawakened. We're one step closer to reviving our Lord Styxian. Here, brother, take these robes. You seem to have lost yours. Now I must start the reawakening process for the shrine. Until we meet again. I don't know why they call everyone brother. Not only does this game not have you choose your gender, I don't have gender. Ironically, the lack of a gender is called a gender. What's up with that? Anyway, I'll see you when I'm back at the Druids for real this time. Oh, I right fucking here. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Howdy, I'm going in. Just let me in, brah. Let me in. Hey there. You're never gonna believe this. Well, hello there. Guess what I found? Satu, I told you that you may uh, use our town or have a meal at the tavern, but I do not require assistance. Well, what about this? What is this? This can't be. Where did you find this? The ancient druid temple? You visited our temple. I imagine it was very dangerous. The last time I visited, it was crawling with droon. I took care of them. Well, I'm glad to hear you're safe. It pains me to know that you've had to defeat some of our own. The droon may be aggressive, but they were once druids like the rest, er, uh, like, just like me. We share Sendu's gift. Thank you for risking your life and discovering the secrets of our people. These texts hold the ancient teachings of Sendu, and they are invaluable to the Grove. How else can I help? You have proven yourself a worthy acolyte of the Druids. I do think I could use your help, but it needs to stay between us. 
The inner circle of Elder Druids and I have no idea what's causing this corruption. We're grasping at straws, trying to find any clues. It's a long shot, but I think we need Sendu's help. I think we may need to wake them up. Well, what do I, how do I do that? There is a Droon in the Windless Woods who lived in the Chilltown Hollow before it was uh, before he was banished for attempting to use Druid magic. He came to the Isle looking for a place to call home. After hearing his story, I granted him a place to stay. However, the other children were not uh, here did not agree with this and quickly drove him out. Why can't I read? He was an outsider, and being a droon from Chilthorn Hollow made him different to the children uh, to the children were raised different. The children were raised to hate the droon. The children were raised to hate the droon. I can't read. They bullied and teased him. By the time I learned of it, it was too late. He was already gone. Despite this, I still believe he could be willing to help us. He shares the forest just as we do. He cares for the forest just as we do, and knows more about Sendu than anyone. Yep, I believe he resides in the Windless Woods. I found his cave before. Cave before. Gods, my ability to speak is quickly deteriorating as well. So I wandered off, only to not be able to talk to the guy, even though I've met him. So I know I need to find somebody named Season. Surely that's how that's pronounced. Are you Season? No. Yeah, I heard about you. I figured you'd be coming along to see me eventually. Eh? So what can I do for you? I'm looking for Aldor. Aldor, huh? The Druun, you know him. Unfortunately for him, yeah, I do. He came to the Isle looking for shelter when I was just a kid. I was young. I thought I knew everything. So when I heard a Druun was staying in our grove, I wasn't happy. I tormented the poor kid until he left. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna find him. Straight to business, I see. No problem. Since you've been helping the Arch Druid this time, I won't charge you for my services. He's staying in the southeast windless woods. Yeah, I know. For some reason, I couldn't talk to him without that information. Or maybe I could. I'm stupid. Is it the cave I'm thinking of? No. Different guy. That makes a lot of sense, actually. See? This is why literacy is important. I, unfortunately, am totally illiterate. Well, this is a quaint little house. Oh, hi. Elepsis. Mm. Well, good chat. I'm looking for... Yeah, it should be here. Unless I'm going to have to find a way to change the bear back into a human. Surely there's a diary that'll explain that to me. After years of researching druidic magic, I think I finally found a way to use it. Old druid legends talk about some druid fam uh, families shapeshifting into beasts and back again at will. After a lot of research I and meditation, I finally discovered a glimmer of magic deep inside me. I think my family line may have been shapeshifters, and I have the ability to shift myself. I've gathered some druidic cores to help me focus my mind as I attempt to tap into my inner animal. Unfortunately, without a guide, I'm afraid shapeshifting could be quite dangerous. In case something goes wrong, I've commissioned a magical amulet that allows the wearer to speak with bears. It should be delivered in the next couple of days. Hopefully my family's crest isn't horribly misleading. I've been... or I'd be quite embarrassed if I turned into a weasel instead. If you're reading this and there's an odd animal sitting patiently inside my hut, please put on the amulet if you need it. I will leave it in the bookshelf when it arrives. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Hi there, Aldor. I'm afraid I have terrible news. The bear speak amulet you commissioned turned out great. How's that terrible news? Oh, it's not the ter that's not the terrible news. The terrible news is that on my way to the deliver it, I was robbed by those darn droon in the old druid ruins. I had the amulet in a little red box. Luckily, it was locked, and they didn't get the key. So here it is. I know where that is. Fucking hell. I genuinely do love this game. Not a huge fan of all this running around. What's up, friendly droon? Unfortunately, I have to take off my necromantic prism. Hello. Ugh, another adventurer just barging into my house like they own the place. Hi. Wait, you can actually hear me? Yes. Oh, you're wearing my amulet. I knew commissioning that was a good idea. Practicing shapeshifting without a proper guide, however, not a good idea. What happened? I've been studying ancient druidic texts, trying to learn how to tap into the form of a magic uh, that the guardian of the forest, Sendu, gifted the druids with centuries ago. I had a breakthrough and learned how to shapeshift. Only some druid families had shapeshifting abilities. Mine must have been one of them. Unfortunately, I don't know how to shift back. 
Hold on, what are you doing here anyway? You must have gone through a lot of trouble to find my amulet. That means you're quite clever. Or you, and you probably need my help. Mm, the Archdruid sent me. Uh, Kirale. Glad to hear that she is well. I'd love to help, but I need your help first. Help with what? Help with what? I've been stuck as a bear for years. Yeah, and what do you need? I think I can make a potion to force me out of this form and back into my human shape. At least that's the plan. I just need some specific ingredients first. Find me a druidic core, a jar of honey, and a couple of thick hides. And then I'll tell you how to make the potion. Well, all I need is a jar of honey. Were you able to collect the plo- uh, Were you able to collect all the ingredients for the potion? Yep. Great job. I can't wait to stop being a bear. It's hard doing things without thumbs, you know. Take all of these ingredients and mix them together at my alchemy table over there. Then place the combined essence into the cauldron along with this jar of water. Once it is finished brewing, bring me the potion. Is that something I can do? Where's my... Put this in here with a jar of water. And brew it. I'm going to want to take out that jar of water. Assuming it doesn't automatically take itself out. Give me these. Don't want to go wasting stuff. Please let me have the potion. What do I need to do again? Mix them together. Oh, pfft. I forgot to actually pick it up. No, I forgot there was actually a way to crouch in this game. Potion of anti-shape shifting. Yep. Here you go. I guess it's time to see if it works. I can't believe it. I'm no longer a bear. Thank you, Satu. Hopefully this potion was enough to kick me out of my bear form for good. Or at least until I get up the nerve to try again. But that won't be for quite some time. I missed my thumbs far too much. Now about Sendu. Right, you're here for the corruption, aren't you? You're hoping you can wake Sendu and get its help clearing the woods of those nasty thorns everywhere. Well, I hope you have better luck than I have with that task. I've tried waking Sendu for years. I've wanted nothing more than to speak with him and learn the truth about the druids and their magic. Unfortunately, Sendu is one deep sleeper. But maybe, maybe now that the woods are in serious danger, maybe this is the perfect time to wake him. How do I do it? Long ago, the druids used to commune with the forest spirit using an enchanted mask, the Mask of Sendu. It is said that the only way to cease and hear Sendu... Archdu er, Archdruid Kyrale placed the mask somewhere safe in hopes that someday it would work again, high in a tower, out of the reach of those who wish to do Sendu harm. You must ask her how to get it back. Must ask her how to get it back. It may be our only chance to stop the spreading corruption. I'll do it. Oh, great. I should have known that potion wasn't a permanent fix. No matter. Go find the mask and wake Sendu. Return to me once the corruption has been taken care of, and we can talk more about this predicament. Good luck with that. I'm actually going to end this episode here. I've got 55 minutes of video recorded, but a lot of it is useless trash. So it'll be hilarious if this episode ends up being like 15 minutes long because I spent the most of it wandering around lost. I love this game, but there is so much back and forth. And I probably cut it out, but like... I forgot to grab the key from under the note, because there's a couple instances in this game where you pick up two items at once because they're related to each other for a quest. Not this instance. Anyway, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and fizzity farewell.